Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here with uh, some more Final Fantasy VIII. In the previous video, we did everything in Ultimicia's castle. Well, not everything. There, we're doing one more thing before we go face Ultimicia. And let's face the Omega Weapon. But in order for us to face the Omega Weapon, we have to do a few things. One of those things is... Um, we have... If you guys noticed that blurb, that, um... That black mist that was in the chapel. That's where Omega is. And in order for us to fight him, we need to do something first. Um, one of the first things, obviously, is, uh, we gotta get there. But actually, I, I just wanted to do that one fight for that reason, is for us to get us leveled up. I, I moved all of the, um, I moved all of the, um, Guardian forces onto this party again. There we are. Monsters can be heard roaring from far away. Okay. So I need. I now need to get to the chapel before time expires. Hey, Omega! There we go, Jesus. I was like, why the fuck aren't I... Aren't I getting to ya? Okay, here we go. Yes, I am gonna cheat. Okay. Let's scan you first. See uh, how, see what we're dealing with here. I have no, I have no, well, put this, uh, or Renona doesn't have any full uh, lives, but, you know, after we beat him, don't matter. Stronger than Ultima Weapon. Omega Weapon is the strongest monster. It's bad luck to run into this monster. Yeah, bad luck for him. Ha, 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 ha. We're gonna murderize your ass. Uh, micro missiles. Let's see what that does. Misses. Okay. All right. Let's just see what laser eyes do. Ah, oh, there we go. Gatling gun will be the way to go. All right, I'm done. Let, let's try to do this at a, de a decent way now. 
guy is probably gonna end up dying. Meteor, eh? I should actually see if I can draw anything from him. Oh! Oh, right. That move does 9,998 damage. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, oh wait, no, I need to have that on so I can get their, ah, well, I guess it don't matter. They're going to get their health back anyway during the fight, so. I guess in all honesty, if I really want to, I could just, I could, um, because this is honestly what I would do. I would actually have the other team ring the bell, have these guys actually stand at the party switch spot outside of the um, the chapel, and then just take him there. Because in all honesty, that'd be the best way to do it. And I somehow got here even faster than last time. Now... Omega, you bitch! Don't know why it seems like that's how you gotta do it. Okay. There is a strategy to beat him without cheating. Rowling gun. Oh yeah, he has ultimates, so I should actually like maybe I should only have Renoda be drawing ultimas from him. Until she's maxed. Sorry, maxed. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess scan, so we didn't get scan. I played too close with fire for that. I do like this design of Omega Weapon. Um, actually, no, never mind, that's a lie. I was about to say, we. I was like, I haven't seen Omega Weapon in 14 yet, but that's a lie. We saw it already. Okay, now I'm actually going to have to put this draw. I'll be honest, they really make this easy. I mean, this is how I beat Osmos in nine. I did give it I did give it the old college try a couple of times. I'll be honest. So this might actually end up being a short video if uh
now we're done. Let's let's stop with it for now. I'll only put that on when he does his move that almost kills you. Okay, Quixis heals him. Oh, that heals him too. Okay. I honestly don't know what I have junction for them that heals them, but... time we saw Eden. I forgot that we haven't seen her yet, so. Gravija! Wait, that, that straight up killed them. That motherfucker. Terabrite. Ouch. Oh, that would... Oh, well, well I... Oh, fuck. Quick this Amron, uh, quick this and... Squall are both dead. That's great. Okay, let's bring quick this back first. Not that it really matters. I just realized we haven't seen uh, Eden in action yet, and I will. I want to show her in action. And I'll, I can't show her in action now because she's fucking dead. There we go. How much HP he actually has. Lionheart. Ah, damn it. Lionheart, I think, it, like, Lionheart, like, I, I love all the limit breaks that they all have, which, by the way, I should actually look at Renona's limit breaks to see, uh, if hers are all the way up. Um. They have like two recommendations for this uh, a party with the guy that I've been following. Uh, they they say Renona, Zell, and Squall. Or I can have um, instead of Zell, I could have Zell just basically have her keep going with oh rough drive. Have her go with um until her limit comes up, and then apparently she gets a limit called the end, and that's a way to end the fight instantly. Although I don't know when that pops up. I don't think it's something I can do right away with this cheat. Um, 
probably something that comes up barely within the fight. God damn. So we've already seen two of uh, Squall's things. We saw Rough Drive and the, the Beam one. Wonder if we'll see any of the other ones. Again, Lionheart would be cool to see for this. I mean, Lionheart was the way that we ended uh, Ultima Ultimate Weapon. Bump, bump, bump. Drive again. You can't to me. But yeah, they say like uh, obviously he he starts the fight with level five death, so make sure your party doesn't have a death pool by five. Uh, unfortunately, he did. Uh, that's why he died right away. All right, I'm going to try to get to the perfect. I got none of them. Or not the perfectly better one. I, man, that one's a rough thing to do. I know I got a couple of times uh, off screen and I maybe a few on screen as well, but uh, man, even with this setup of me cheating like this, it's still taking a while. Do you think if you did get a perfect with, um, all the stuff you should automatically get one of those endings. I mean, I think if you get a perfect uh, with the other, if you get a perfect with the other set on the better ones, the the shorter interval one, I think you do. But I think it. Let's drive again, man. This is the third time we've seen it. I think you get a good chance of it if you get a perfect. Obviously, as we saw so many times. I'm going to try again for the, uh, for the better ones. Man, this motherfucker is not going to go down. This is some bullshit. You guys are definitely cheating. Oh, sweet Lionheart. There we go. It's over. It has to be. I feel like this has to be the end. 6,000, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, yeah, but like, yeah. How many hits is that, by the way? Like, is that thing 12? I, how many hits does that do? I should see if it even does that in uh, status thing. You should be dead, right? That did 9,000. Wow, he's not dead. Oh, my God. Motherfucker just doesn't know when to stay down. Online hard again. I fucking love that he just like Renona just straight up shoots for the dog at them. Faded circle. Okay, I don't think we saw this one yet. I think we've seen them all now. We saw Fade Circle, Rough Drive, Lineheart, and that other one that I can't remember its name. So, Fade Circle, Rough Drive. Fade Circle, Rough Drive, Lineheart, and the other one. No, I think he has one more. I think he has a total of five. Not missed that one. Dude. 
even with this cheats on, he's still, like, obviously taking a lot of hits. Fade circle again. You know what would be better? He did Lionheart again. Of course, the one with Lionheart was like the one I tried to do, the one with all the hits, the best hits. Of course, that's the only time he's done Lionheart so far. I'm not quite ready to put this on the overdrive yet. By overdrive, I mean doing it in fast speed. Nah, I probably shouldn't do Angel Lings because there's a chance she could do something that heals him, so... But that is something they say, I think they say, like, get rid of some of the magics on Renona so that she don't, she's only with, like, the big ones like, um, Ultima, Meteor, and, uh, Holy, like, and then do get her into the angel wings uh, thing, so then she like always. And then I think like do triple blasting zone. That's the one I was thinking of, um, where he extends the thing. But I think he has one more. Um, yeah, that's one of the things. It's like, oh yeah, do this with um, uh, Renona. Obviously, yeah, like I, it, like one of the things is like cast triple on someone, have them do aura, then like. Have the person so have someone cast triple on someone. Have the person who got uh, triple on them to cast aura, so all three party members can do their limit breaks right away. Um, and then uh, have uh, have uh, the setup with Zell and with Zell to always do like his Booya and punch combo setup. And then have obviously have Squall do his what I'm doing with him. And then they say with, uh... And then I think they say cast triple on... Renona? Maybe that's who it is. Like, have, cast triple on Renona. And then... I, actually, I don't know if the Angel Wings matters with the thing. I can't remember. Uh, actually, I think there's also, like, a do a haste. So, obviously, have, have haste on everyone. So, everyone does that. Um... I don't know, it's, it's a it's an elaborate setup, and it's a good setup in all honesty from my right. I was like, oh yeah, that'd be that could actually work. So Motherfucker, you are really taking the piss, aren't you? Blasting zone again. This is like what, the fourth time we've seen it? Because we saw it two times in a row, then we saw it this time, then we saw that one other time. Uh, like I think it was the first one in this fight. Maybe not this fight, but maybe the fight part previous. Come on, I think if I did Lionheart one more time, he would die. If they were major, if they were like... If th there was a couple 9,999 hits in that. Obviously, of course, you gotta go into this fight without uh, with at least one party member of not a festival of five. That's why I didn't come in here with Selfie. I honestly would have, but she's at level 100 as well. Granted, the other four are not, uh, so it'd be a nice thing to do. But then I'd have to like waste two lives to bring them back. And you know, but it it works. It's working out so far. God damn, like, seriously, someone, like, put in all the... Like, those hits are 2,000 each. And that's, like, what, five hits? Five to four hits. So I'm doing a shit ton of damage to him. And he's still not dead. I mean, he's not... He's the ultimate boss for a reason. So, in the next video, by the way, guys, I'm not fighting Ultim Ultimicia in this video. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four. 
So I'm doing roughly 10,000 damage to him every time. 10,000 plus with just Squall alone, and that's without a special. Um, so, so we'll get a trophy for being Omega. Here. And then in the next video, we'll get the trophy for beating the game. And then there's only one trophy left in the game, which is, you know, having your seed level all the way to max. Which, in all honesty, if I really want to, I could do that. But again, I, I think I mentioned this before. It's like, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm going to be the kind... I uh, What I'd probably do is... um, You know how I did the streams of Platinum, all the Kingdom Hearts games for PlayStation 4? Uh, as a special stream. I'll probably do that with Final Fantasy here. So, uh, once I get Final Fantasy 7 OG to that point where it's like, oh, just do one more thing to get the Platinum trophy. Um, and then I get Final Fantasy 9 to the point of that as well. Um, and then, uh, spoiler alert, I have Final Fantasy 10 in the 10 2 collection. I'll probably do that as well. I don't know if I'll have include 10 2 into that, but yeah, I might as well because I'd like to have 10 and 10 2 close together. Although I don't know if I'd have 12. I'm honestly not that far away from plat Platinum 12. I think the only couple trophies that are going to give me a hard time is getting to 100, the 100th level of the Trials of 100 and beating, um, what's this fucking face? Actually, actually, if I'm able to do that, uh, if I'm able to get to the, beat, beat the 100th level of the, the Trials thing of 12, uh, the one creature that I need to beat, that counts if you beat it in that thing, so that counts. So I need that trophy, and then I also need the trophy for mapping every single area. I think that's all I need from that game, then, in order for that to be platinum. But again, I don't know if I would include 12. Uh, I might, in all honesty. It just sucks that I'll never be able to play Final Fantasy XI, because that's another MMO of uh, Final Fantasy games, you know, like 14 is. Maybe I should actually wait until I'm close to Platinum Final Fantasy XIV before I do that. And then, like, when they do, uh... I am, like, so surprised. The, granted, the PS4 is still in its life cycle, but it's nearing its end. You gotta think about that. Although, I, I don't think they'll, they'll stop production on PS4s right away. Uh, my guess is they probably won't start, stop production on PS4s until 2025. Uh, at the latest. Not at the earliest, I think. So, I... Oh, sweet Lionheart, you have to be dead now. Um, so, that, that's my guess. Either 2025 or 2026, I feel like they'll announce, like, hey, we're stopping production. Like, that's the earliest, in my opinion. That's the earliest of when they will uh, announce, like, hey, PS5s are, or PS4s are done. And that that's actually be a good enough time, because the PS5 would be roughly within a good amount of, of time. Oh my god, you're still not dead. I was scared that this video was going to be short. Even with me cheating like this, it's still taking its rough time. Um, so, that would be my guess. But I'm so surprised we have not gotten a Final Fantasy 13 collection on a PS4. We'll probably get it at some point. I, I, mm, here's the thing. I don't think we'll... Mm, my guess is we are going to get Final Fantasy 16 in 2020. That's my guess. Uh, my guess is July at the earliest. Of I'm super excited about it. Okay, it's circle. Um, I'm excited for 16. Like, especially since it's being like basically held by the team behind 14. That's awesome, in my opinion. Especially because now of how much I've been falling in love with 14. Oh, uh, that's cool. Um, but, um... Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it from 7, 8, 9, 10. For the thing. And then if they, well, with 13, maybe, maybe I'd platinum the 13, the three 13 games in a row like that. That's actually what I have, like, I think I mentioned this before in, like, uh, one of my Yakuza, in Yakuza Like a Dragon, uh, videos, like, maybe the final one, where it's like, 
I'd probably do a stream where I platinum all the Yakuza games like I did with this, uh, with Kingdom Hearts, uh, games. And in all honesty, I am thinking, like, you know what, maybe I'll do it to where I have, like, a dragon, or by that time, Yakuza 8 as my, um, as my 200 platinum trophy. I'm not, I mean, I am quite far away. Like, I think I have, like, what, 100 and platinum trophies right now or something like not maybe not even 110 but actually I might I should have I should be in like the 110 dish but yeah I think what I how I would do it is I think I would like uh, do a stream like that and then like uh... So I'd probably platinum Yakuza 5, my PS3 version of Yakuza 5, earlier than that. Or if I really wanted to, I could include it in that. Um, let me think here. I have zero. I have zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, judgment, seven. And then eight, so that's ten. Okay, so that's not even including um, that's not including my PS3 version of five. And like I said, I expect Yakuza eight to be out by that time. And hell, I kind of forgot about a Judgment two, which is something that could happen as well. So, so if a Judgment two and Yakuza eight comes out, that's actually eleven then. That's actually eleven. So, but maybe what I should do, I should get. Grand, like a dragon is already at that point, so I should get all the other Yakuza games to at that point, and Judgment as well. Which is this, basically what I would do is I'd basically do all this stuff, and then when it's like, oh, beat the game on like the Legend difficulty or whatever the hardest difficulty is for those games, I basically get to the point of where it's like time to do that. And then we just do a stream of all the final bosses. That'd be a long stream. Uh, for multiple reasons. One, there's a lot of cutscenes. Although I'd probably skip some of them, if I'm being entirely honest. I'd probably skip the cut. Ah! Actually, I would have to, because if it's if it's like giving you the trophy at the end of the credits, uh, like it does for being the game. Yeah, every time you beat the Yakuza game, it gives you the trophy at the end of the credits of like thank you, which is like beating the game. Motherfucker. This motherfucker does not want to die. I think we'll get the final hit. Blast zone again. Nope, okay. Wow, this is... Wow. Again, I was scared that I thought this wouldn't take too long. And this is also with... This is technically the second time I'm fighting him. Oh, there we go. Renona got the hit. Way to go, girl. So what's our prize? I don't think it's anything special. If I'm being entirely honest here. I got the Omega Destroyer Gold Trophy. I beat the Omega Weapon. I got three stars. Whoop, whoop. 250 AP. Holy crap. And only Cactuar learned a thing. Only, oh right, Doom Train, oh. 
Fuck! I kind of want to reload it now and do it so they get their shit. That sucks, man. That fucking sucks. I I really want to like reload the save and do that. Nah, I won't. But that's some bullshit, if I'm being entirely honest here. Okay, give me the store. I feel like you should have also gotten a goddamn, um... You should have also gotten your seed level up as well after beating him. I mean, if you got one from being ultim ultimate weapon. If you got one from being ultimate weapon, you should have definitely gotten one from beating him. Alright, let's head to... Uh, the save to where Ultimicia is at. But before we do that, I do want to... I do want to see Eden's, uh, summon.
All right. Let us get to Alphamisha's thing. Now, if I am actually, I'm gonna put the Guardian Forces back to how they were before I did this thing. So, uh, but I'll do that off screen because I, I'll be honest, I don't remember <laughs> how I had it set up. Oh boy. But anyway, guys, woo. Omega Weapon, you took a beating and then some. So I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do the Ultimisha fight legit. You, you're gonna go down. There you go. Where I won't have this. Where I won't have that thing on. Actually, I'm. Can I run into enemies on here? It doesn't look like it. Ah, it does. What the fuck? Are, oh, it's this thing again. It's this thing that we fought in the underground. Yo, that did a shit ton of damage. Okay. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, guys, in the next part, which is going to be the finale of Final Fantasy VIII. I cannot wait. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button and click. Comment down below what you guys like about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know what you guys think of the Omega fight. I honestly thought it went a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Especially because I cheated. <laughs> so yeah. And as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the beat. And subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RPG King Kid Twitter, are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.